Hello, and welcome to the Scholarly Communications video series from the Hema Farb Library. My name is Brittany Smith, and I am the Metadata Specialist at Hema Farb Library. Today, we will briefly discuss how to promote your published research. Let's get started. Once your research is published, it is important that you use all available avenues to share your work with your colleagues. Promoting your publications could connect you with future collaborators who may have similar research interests. Your research will also contribute to the ongoing scientific dialogue among your peers. By using different social media platforms such as Twitter, Facebook, or LinkedIn, your work will reach a diverse audience who may become readers committed to accessing and supporting your future publications. By continuously practicing your promotion and communication skills, you'll learn how to effectively explain your research to a wide variety of audiences, thus significantly increasing your visibility. If you wish to use your social media accounts to promote your work, here are some quick tips. Post frequently. Many websites allow you to schedule a post or tweet in advance, and this is a great tool to ensure you're posting your research at least once a week. Consider testing out different times to gauge which hour draws the most traffic. Maybe you receive several retweets and comments during noon, or you may find that your posts garner a lot of engagement during the evening. Once you find a day and time that works best, consistently post at that time to draw frequent and reliable views. Lastly, attach your social media handles to your email signature. This will make it easier for your colleagues to access and follow your social media accounts. Now let's discuss some specific resources to help you promote your newly published paper. Tweetable abstracts are a concise version of your abstract that can be easily disseminated on Twitter or other social media platforms. With a 280 character limit per tweet, it is best to shrink your abstract to its main point to share alongside a link to your published article. You can also use relevant hashtags to help you reach your intended audience, though keep in mind that hashtags contribute to your overall character amount. Your tweetable abstract can also be used for other social media websites such as Facebook, LinkedIn, or on a personal blog. These condensed abstracts or main points are a great way to cap quickly capture a reader's attention and encourage them to download the full text. Institutional repositories are another excellent way to promote and share your research with a wider audience. The Health Sciences Research Commons, or HSRC, is an online archive that houses scholarly articles, reports, editorials, and other works written by authors affiliated with the George Washington University. By archiving your research in an institutional repository, you can easily track the attention your work receives. For example, the HSRC uses PlumX and Altmetrics to measure the number of views, downloads, social media shares, and other forms of engagement. Your work is also discoverable through common search engines such as Google Scholar. Once your publication is uploaded to the HSRC, you can share the entry through your different social media channels or place a link on your resume or CV. In short, institutional repositories like the Health Sciences Research Commons provides one consistent shareable link to your research, and you can track the level of engagement and attention your research receives. A researcher profile provides a direct link between your researcher identity and your published work. There are several different profile services, including, but not limited to, ORCID, Google Scholar, Scopus Author ID, and ResearchGate. It is important to maintain your researcher profile as it allows you to distinguish yourself from researchers with similar names. A well-maintained profile also displays your body of scholarly output over the course of your career, allowing readers and colleagues to access your most recent publications as well as published articles from previous years. Most importantly, researcher profile services allow you to connect with individuals with similar interests, thus introducing you to future collaborators. If you're interested in learning more about maintaining your researcher profile or would like someone to check over your current profiles, consider using Himmelfarb's researcher profile audit service. Promoting your research may seem daunting at first, but by using different tools and consistently honing your communication skills, you'll grow comfortable with sharing your publications and will continue to grow your reader base. Thank you for taking the time to listen to Promoting Your Research. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please visit our video library here where you can also find the associated slides. If you have any questions about the material covered in this session or have sp questions specific to your own research, don't hesitate to contact us at bsmith91 at gwu.edu. On behalf of the Himmelfarb Library Scholarly Communications team, thank you for listening.